as we all know, it's been all over national news, professional football players kneeling during the national anthem to protest police brutality and oppression of blacks. And now the very contra movement has caught wind here in Camden at Woodrow Wilson High School. Here's video of Coach Preston Brown and several of his players kneeling during the national anthem before the home opener against Highland Saturday. Coach Brown is no longer doing media interviews, but he did say this was a very personal matter. He spoke with his players before the game about his decision and did not press any of them to do the same, although the majority of the team did kneel with him. And this all comes after 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick sat during the national anthem several weeks back. Several NFL players have now done the same thing. And the Camden City School District did release a statement, which I'd like to read part of it. It says the district supports standing for the flag, but this is a personal issue, and we strongly support our students' experiences, and they're exercising our First Amendment rights. Yeah, I wonder if that would have been their statement if he had assembled the team in prayer before uh, before the game happened. Of all weekends, I just cannot fathom this. 15 years ago, Americans died because they live by the values inside this national anthem, and then he decides that this is the weekend that he's going to practice his First Amendment rights. It's just so insensitive I'm, and so out of touch. Like, I wish he was sitting with me when I was in seventh grade and my classmates were learning that their parents were dead, or when I couldn't get in touch with my dad because he potentially was inside that tower. The flag and the national anthem are much stronger than this silly hullabaloo. It was there before. It'll be here a long time after. My problem's with Colin Kaepernick. He's getting paid like a hundred and some odd million dollars. That's his contract. He's on an 11 million dollars this year. He's working for somebody. That uniform's not his. It belongs to the team that he plays for. If you want to start a movement, do it on your own time. These high school kids who are, who are, on, are not being paid at all, go crazy. If, if you are in elementary school, you can decide what, which um, gender you want to be. You can stand up for whatever you want to stand up for. I do agree with y'all. It is the wrong time for, for, for them to do it. But in the, same, in the same token, we have the right to do that. You have to think about the origin and liberty and justice for all. That's not happening. <sighs> the hard part of this story is not being able to speak to the coach. He's a bit of a coward, the, uh, the coach. Uh, he wouldn't return any of our calls this morning. I called him out on the air. Just, you know, if you're going to do something, have the courage of your convictions. But I think he's a, he's a coward. See, we ask our football players, our athletes, to be good role models. We ask them to set an example. Colin was doing that. Maybe it wasn't the example that you want him to set, but he was taking a stand, and I stand with him. Do I think that this coach picked the wrong time to take a stand? Yes. Well, the reality is the reason we're even able to have this argument is because of what that flag represents. And I, you know, it's, uh, I'd say this though, actions speak louder than words. You're sitting, Jablonski. Jablonski has chosen to sit. Don't don't stand up just because I called you out. Nicely done. Thanks, Ashley.